Hey, we're not beach building today because of a broken Caterpillar front loader tilt piston repair. But this is the wall on one side of the beach that has been built. The beach is basically built. And where that black tarpaulin is, that is going to be an area with a big flat rock on it where you can sit down and have drinks once the beach sand is in. Now that's the existing wall and this is our new wall which looks almost similar. Rock is rock and we all know that these rocks were free even the base rocks were free so basically we have free base rocks that were for free as opposed to paid rocks. When you hate when you have to pay for rock because rock is more. Now this is the spoil pile as is that the spoil pile and that's what we broke the piston pushing but it broke because it was 17 years old so this is the field repair coming up and I will show you the wrench that was made this is some of the tools this is my little work area next to the piston that had to be removed. Now this is the interesting part. Notice this wrench. Notice how it is lashed to a chipping bar. A six foot chipping bar. And I will give you a better shot at this by flipping over the wrench. And you can see how it was lashed down to the end of that bar because in the field this is all I had. I didn't have a pipe and a four foot wrench. Now this is the piston cylinder. This is the piston rod. This is the piston rod end inside there. In order to get this piston rod end and the plunger that goes on this side off, here's what we had to do. You had to heat this cylinder up on both sides or all four sides almost red hot to break the threads that had been in there and had gotten water in there for 17 years even though there's hydraulic oil in the piston whoever put the piston together did not and I repeat did not use never sees which they should have they should do that when they put the piston together right from the manufacturing. This way, 20 years down the line, you could get the piston off. And this is what the torch that we heated up the piston with on one, two, three, four sides. And then we put our infield wrench that's lashed down to the bar on there and a man actually hung on the bar with 200 pounds of weight at the end of the six foot bar in order to get this piston rod end cap off. Now I flattened out the sides of the piston rod end cap with a hacksaw. I cut the sides off and then I notched the other sides. One, two, three, and I did that so that the wrench would go on to tighten it and take it apart if need be. However, if you'll notice, there are holes drilled about every inch and a half around the perimeter. Those holes are to hold this wiper seal in place because originally they use a special glue. But after 17 years, you lose a few thousandths of metal and sometimes the glue pops off. So you sand the surface down, clean it with acetone or starting fluid. You place the seal in there with the goop and then you take one of these self-tapping screws that I made special washers out of stainless steel for and you put them in to those holes 
and they will hold down that wiper seal. And then naturally you just put your plunger, this is the plunger, you put your plunger parts back together and then you put this on the end of the piston rod and then you put the nut and wa the bolt and washer on this side. So as you can see we're doing a field repair out in the field and it's been raining for three days so I want to show you this mud that we're working with me I and me I am working around it just stopped raining so I figured I would take a little video this is the mud I have to get a running start from the street to get down this driveway through this mud So here we are in downtown Key Largo beach building and this is Michael Fazio the beach builder slash hydraulic piston repair guy and have a nice day from a downtown of Key Largo and remember the free base of rock is she's a more because it takes the time but to make of the rock after that.